I'm in the ocean and then a wave comes and it crashes down and it pushes me under and it's like you can't breathe. And you are just scrambling. You are scrambling to try to get to the surface again. But when you do pop up to the surface and you look, that wave has gone. And you know that that wave that's gone is never going to come back. And you're not sure how many waves are out there, but what you do know is that wave is not going to push you down again. Not ever. It's hard to look back at how I was treated and how I was expected to exist for 40 years. They will have you living in such fear. You're more fearful of making a phone call than living with them and putting up with the abuse. It was only when my daughter returned home when she said to me, Mum, this is not normal how you're living. And I actually couldn't see it because I had lived it for so long that the daily abuse had actually become my normal. And she said to me that she wanted to find somewhere to take me so that I could talk to someone. And my attitude at the time was, it's not that bad. It was that bad. In the end, Jess did get me in the car. She did take me to a centre. And when I did start to speak to a counsellor, she very quickly told me that I was a, a victim of domestic violence. I saw this counsellor a few times and she was getting more and more concerned about my safety as his behaviour was becoming more threatening. Well, most of it I couldn't describe on camera because it's distressing what he was doing. But I did make the phone call to the police and they turned up. One of the officers, we were just talking and he drew the will of violence and he held it up to me and he said, is this what your life was like? And I remember just sitting there and nodding and saying yes, because him drawing that out for me, I could see really what I'd been living through. And my life now, well, <laughs> you know, somebody had told me three or four years ago that this would be what I had. I would never have believed them, not in a million years. So that any woman sitting there now, in the depths of despair, thinking your life's over, trust me, it is not. Because I went through 40 years. And if I can get up, so can you. If your gut is telling you that how you're feeling, it's not normal, it's not right. If it's you know a month into dating a guy, whether it's 20 years or like me, 40 years, immediately go and seek help. Whether it's you go to your local police station, whether you go to a women's group, just go and reach out and tell them what is happening to you.